Well, Keenan, the application process appears to be pretty straightforward, but you mentioned that time is of the essence here. You have and just until Friday to tap into that $55 million allocated by the state. And as you also mentioned, struggling businesses could receive up to $20,000 in this grant money. And for two brothers who co-own a clothing line in Detroit, they're hoping this influx of cash will help them continue to weather the storm. It was a gap in here in, in Detroit of uh, men's casual clothes um, with some unique uh, flair to it. So brothers Daryl and Coven Humes filled the gap themselves with mature fashion for men. It opened inside the Fisher Building last year just before the holidays, but then COVID hit. So we really kind of just lost some momentum that we had just began to build. We had to lay off a, a few different employees. They also had to temporarily close for a few months, reassess overhead and work with vendors to keep those business relationships going. They'll be applying for the Michigan Small Business Survival Grant. The application window opens this morning at 9 o'clock. To be eligible, a business must have under 100 workers, show it's been financially impacted by the pandemic, and will likely fall under one of these industries. The grants will pay for things like rent, payroll expenses, mortgage, or reopening costs. Uh, this grant is going to allow us to continue to uh, tread water. Uh, during this time. Businesses that have closed due to the pandemic could receive up to $20,000. Those that are still open or had to partially close could get up to 15000 The money is ultimately distributed through local economic development organizations, or EDOs, which can decide how much grant money is allocated to each business. The Humes brothers are optimistic this boost will keep them going, and until then... Continue to shop small. Shop small, shop local. Uh, we definitely need your support. So to apply, you'll need to visit michiganbusiness.org slash survival. Note that this must be all done all online, so no physical copies of the application will be accepted. Because they are anticipating such a large response to this grant application process, they're reminding people to be patient. And if the system is overloaded, you'll be directed to a queue, which is basically a virtual place in line um, as people continue to apply for this. And remember, that window is opening in just under four hours now. Nine o'clock is when the application process will be open and it will close Friday at noon. We'll have much more information on how to apply on our website, WXYZ.com. We're live this morning. Jen Chance, 7 Action News. Yeah.